just want to show folks what it's like sometimes with this, uh, with the deep pulse machine. Uh, I've gone that deep. The, the holes filled back in. But I went down as deep as my shovel tip. And my last shovel hole. Let me stick my shovel over here. You can see I use a, a scoop and a shovel because when you get into situations like this with the gravel, you need the shovel. My headphones off. I don't know if the microphone's going to work there, but see, there's no set tone here. But we definitely have a tone over here now. So it is somewhere in that pile. Bear with me. I'm moving stuff around here. this pile out and try to get a little more all right still in this mess here and there's a little rust right there but I don't think that's it it's not sounding off there well wherever it is it's over here in this clump all right I see it it's not a coin not sure what it is. Looks like a cap off of something. Either a cap or a plumbing fish fixture of some sort. So that was a that's what happens with a pulse machine. You get really deep targets like that. Down here in the the wet sand where the VLF machines turn their, their um, sensitivity down to handle it, so you pick up this deep stuff. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's like that. All right, so that's what a big muddy live dig is kind of like. While we're at it, we're at um, a different beach that we haven't been to. I've been metal detected here in quite a few years um, with my old VA my Garrett's and um, my old green Garrett, the ADS, um, and I could never even come down here to the salt water. I worked for the dry sand up there. All right, so I'm back at I got a big hole to fill in and back to targets. I've got another target right up there in front of the truck. You can see I pretty much walked out of the truck, made two passes up and down, and hit a target there and hit a target there. Okay, another deep dig. Um, show you how deep we go with this crazy thing. And I normally get annoyed at buried beep cans, beer cans. But this is a fall staff. It's the old school pull tab, which means it's like older than 1978. And I am fairly sure this is the bicentennial can. So... This beer can has been buried on this beach and moving around on this beach since 1976. Well, at least 1978, because that's when I believe they stopped using those uh, style pull tab. So, another junk find, but interesting nonetheless. Okay, I'm wrapping up here at what I'm going to call Clam Bake Beach. So I have a name for it. Um, I will do a treasure report when I get home. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to show. I want to, um, excuse me, a lot of stuff to show. And I'd like to sort it out a little bit. So here's the after action report for Friday night's PM treasure, beach treasure. Um, big piece of brass that was nailed at like I showed you guys in the picture how deep that was a uh, honking screw or bolt here some sort of bushing I thought it was a um a socket but it's uh seems to be straight through so it's some sort of well maybe it is a socket and it's just rounded out quite a bit uh nail bolt nail piece of aluminum 
picture hanger. Uh, this looked like a coin when it was in the water. It came out, it was completely filled in. I started to clean it, and then I was thinking it was a smooth, a smooth coin, and then the center fell out of it. It was rusted through. It is a washer, even though it looked just like a coin on the beach. Um, two zinkers right here, two zinc pennies, and a 19, I believe it's a 74, It's a 1970-something penny. That one cleaned up nicely for as uh, crowed as it was. And um, these Type 2 Beaver Tail pull tabs. Two different styles of Type 2s. So... Here's the 46 or 45 year old, 46 year old cache of patriotic memorabilia I uncovered. I showed you the guy, the one can earlier was about a foot deep and it just kept going to well over two feet. There was apparently a clam bake and somebody dug a hole at the end of the bake and threw the uh, cans into it. And they are Falstaff, and this is the 1976 Bicentennial can. I am fairly sure, which means these were made and marketed and sold in 1976. So that would be, I'm sorry, be 44, almost. 45 years ago so it is a stash of patriotic memorabilia uh like you i saw showed you before there's also the um pull tabs were in the hole with them two of the pull tabs one of them i believe is this style off of this can these cans uh i guess the coke cans had a little more steel in them because they rusted a lot more and I think one of the Coke cans had a top on it. I could show you that it's actually one of the soda can top pull tabs. But anyway, you slice it. That is the cache of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 45 year old patriotic memorabilia. Um, these things sell on eBay for like four or five bucks when they haven't been opened and they were bottled, bottom opened and kept for. Um, collecting so i doubt there's a couple here that actually might clean up fairly well but they're not going to have be worth more than a buck or so to a collector so i'm gonna there's some over here they're probably beyond saving um they uh you know crushed it like crushed the can respect the man crushed it like captain quint but that was that was um narragansett beer not falstaff still cheap cheap american watery lager beer summer beer cape cod summer beer all right um so that's it that is the 44 40 almost 45 year old cache of patriotic memorabilia i uncovered